my dad and I live in an airport. That's because we don't have a home and the airport is better than the streets. You're careful not to get caught. We stand among Dutch crowds, we change airlines, Delta, TWA, Northwest. We love them all. Dad and I wear blue jeans and blue t-shirts and blue jackets. Not to be noticed is to look like nobody at all. Where are we tonight? I ask. Dad checks his notebook. I lost Garrett, over in the other terminal. Everything on the airport is on the move. Everyone's going somewhere. Except Dad and I. We stay. The National Alliance to End Homelessness reports that in January 2020, there were 580,466 people experiencing homelessness in America. 70% were individuals, and the rest were families with children. They lived in every state and territory, and they affected the diversity of our country. This story follows Chris, a curious child waiting for his life to change as he and his father live in an airport. However, as Chris's wishes for better days continue to go unanswered, he must learn that the smallest miracles can renew hope. Fly Away Home by Eve Bunting Once, a little brown bird flew into the main terminal and couldn't get out. It fluttered into the high hollow spaces, threw itself at the glass, and fell, panting to the floor. The bird flew around, dragging one wing, and then <laughs> it found the instant when a sliding door opened and slipped right through. Fly, bird. Fly away home. Though I couldn't hear it, I knew it was singing. Nothing made me as happy as that bird. The airport's busy and noisy, even at night. Dad and I sleep anyway. When it gets quiet, between 2 to 4 a.m., we wake up. In the mornings, Dad and I wash up in one of the bathrooms, and he shaves. The bathrooms are crowded, no matter how early, and that's how we like it. On the weekends, Dad takes the bus to work. He's a janitor in an office in the city. The bus is fares a dollar each way. On those days, Miss Medina looks out for me. The Medinas live in the airport too. When dad comes home from work, he buys hamburgers for us in the Medinas. That's to pay them for watching me. Dad, will we ever have our own home again? I'd like it to be the way it was before, before mom died. Maybe we will. If I can find more work, if we can save money. It's nice right here though, isn't it? It's warm, it's safe, and the price is right. But I know all the time he's trying to find us a place. He takes newspapers from the trash baskets and circles, letters and numbers. When he comes back, he looks sad. Sometimes, I watch people meeting other people. Sometimes I get mad and I want to yell at them and shout, Why do you have homes when we don't, huh? What makes you so special? That would get us noticed, all right? But sometimes I, I just want to cry. I think Dad and I will be here forever. But then I remember the little brown bird. It took a while. But a door opened, and when it did, when the bird flew free, I knew it was singing. <laughs>